The ninth race, 2004 Trotting Classic Final. There they go. And they're off and trotting. Elegant Man has seized the inside lane to be one of the early best ones away, but approved action in Rajon Daniel Jet directly to the lead. St. John's Boy looking at a gaping two hole and gets into it early. Elegant Man is lined up back in third. Why chance it is wrestled over into line from fourth position. Diamond Goal lined up quickly in fifth. J.M. Van Gogh, the sixth one away, moving third from last center field. Another pair of lengths to Rocky Mosa Raptor, and Cosington was last away. Already driving up on the outside, out of the two hole comes. St. John's Boy to try to take over from approved action. 29 and 1, St. John's Boy. And Luke Ouellette driving second to first, just past the quarter pole, approved action. Reluctant to yield, but now sits back in second. On the inside, third is Elegant Man, and here comes Wide Chance It. Approved action already kicked back out from second. Wide Chance It, three wide for a few strides there, and is ranging up on the outside at St. John's Boy, approaching the half. Sitting five trotters back still is Diamond Goal, then J.M. Van Gogh. Another pair of lengths to center field. Cosington has inherited eighth because Rocky Mosa Raptor made a break and is out of contention. And why chance it was made to work for the top? The half was 57 seconds. St. John's Boy back in second. Two moves already and approved action is on the inside third. Elegant Man fourth into the back stretch for the final time. And now Diamond Goal looks to flush out some cover. He's going to get it from Elegant Man. And they're racing in tears on the way to the three quarters and the mile stage. On the lead is Wide Chance It. On the inside, second, St. John's Boy and Elegant Man has taken his shot. Fished out first over. Approved action is heavily spent. There goes Diamond Goal sweeping up second over into the top five. J.M. Van Gogh has a couple beaten in the backfield. Center field in Cosington. And the distance trailer was Rocky Mosa Raptor moving past Elegant Man. And he suddenly opened a huge lead. 126 and 4. Three quarter time and down to the mile station. 155 and 1. Elegant Man can he sustain this tempo for about another 45 seconds. Elegant Man at the head of the stretch into the championship final of the 2004 Trotting Classic. Stalking in hard pursuit is J.M. Van Gogh reeling him in. Waples has J.M. Van Gogh on the move. He's picked up second. Elegant Man the leader. J.M. Van Gogh bravened up off the turn and is back out for the stretch drive. J.M. Van Gogh has overtaken Elegant Man. Now looming boulder from third is center field. Cosington is picked up fourth, but it's Ron Waples and J.M. Van Gogh. Waples played it brilliantly, and J.M. Van Gogh is the champion of the 2004 Trotting Classic over Elegant Man and center field, 239-3. and three. World record and stakes record to boot for J.M. Van Gogh and Ron Waples. Well, another of the amazing stories of this North American Classic Series Championship night here at Mohawk Racetrack is J.M. Van Gogh returning to the winner's circle. Had a terrible fall in the stretch here in a gold final as a two-year-old at Mohawk. Now at age four, wins the Trotting Classic Series Championship Final by Earl from Queen Tut, bred by R.K. Joe Miss Kokomon of Muncie, Ontario, now owned by Paul Chambers and John Mello of Harrington, Delaware and Georgetown, Maine. Trained and driven to victory by Ron Waples. The third win in seven starts this year. None of them as big as this. The Trotting Classic Championship Final to J.M. Van Gogh. With the presentation, Pat and Jim Bullock from Glengate Farms in nearby Campbellville. Glengate Farms will be offering 32 yearlings in the Forest City Yearling Sale this year. The farm well known as the home of the hot young trotting sire Angus Hall, as well as the Hall of Fame stallions Apache's fame and balanced image. Thanks to Pat and Jim Bullock from Glengate Farms for the Winter Circle presentation and your participation in the 2004 North American Classic Series. All right, talk about going up the backstretch. Uh, were you happy at that point in the mile with what had gone on in the front end and where you were sitting? A static would be more the way of putting it. 
I like the savvy move at the head of the stretch, by the way, popping him back in the helmet. It seemed to re-energize him. Oh, I think so. Uh, you know, he's not a very big horse, and uh, you're going over a mile. And, boys, I mean, he gives it 120%. He's just a game as little guy there is. All right. Uh, talk about where he goes next, Ronnie. Well, I think uh, Frank Ryan at Ottawa uh, next uh, Sunday night, I believe it is. So as long as he comes out of this, all right, and I'm presuming he will, that's where we'll aim for. All right. Ron Waples gets it done winning the Trotting Classic. Can I have your autograph? Yeah, later. All right. Hall of Famer gets it done here with the comeback kid, J.M. Van Gogh.